But mom, she's saying the truth. <laughs> Je m'appelle Shaley et qui signos. Je m'appelle Avery et j'ai joué avec l'équipe de In August of 2018, I moved here for my job and I heard Saint Foix football team was really good. So I signed the girls up in April of 2018. And then right when we moved here, I remember coming to the field and pushing Avery out on a field with 60 boys. <laughs> But mom, she's saying the truth. Nope. Um, because I didn't know the language and they were all boys. And I've never played on a boys team before. When I went to the first match ever and I scored for for my team and I was the first to score in all my team. Who was your best memory? When I scored in the football tournament with team one. Yeah, and then the team one. My best memory are all the parents. All of us parents cheering and screaming for the kids and the great coaches. We just love being a part of the program. Don't we, Brad? Yeah, we did a humanitarian trip for 12 days to Cambodia the girls, my husband and Ollie, and um, we literally helped kids, the poorest of poor slums of Cambodia, we would go in and provide medical care. Um, we taught them the Bible, we brought them food, we prayed, we played soccer with them. We put on a two day football camp for over 120 kids in the extreme heat. Um, but it was so great because these kids just don't get the opportunity to do these things. So they were so happy and so excited um, to be able to give them this opportunity. We should be more grateful because they were so happy when they got um, a bon. And we're like, oh, I wish we could have more. Yeah, be grateful for what we have because these kids have nothing. They literally did sleep on wood slats and they were so thankful for everything. In the United States, there's so many girls. So at a very, so at Bryn's age, when Bryn was four, four and three, the girls started playing and there was hundreds and hundreds of girls all over the country playing football. What about juggling? It's a lot oh. more common wear. France. France. Yeah, they don't really juggle in the United States. They don't teach kids juggling, but in France, it's very, very big. So I think they have uh, great, uh, great coaches, passionate coaches, Alexander Roban, Guillaume, Ali Canton, um, Bruno, the club really invests in people who are passionate about being there for the kids and improving the club. Um, I think great like training facilities because yeah. the fields are really good and spacious. And I think the the actual yeah that they're like prepared. Yeah, they're very organized. The club is very yeah. organized. The trainings. The trainings are so much more advanced and prepared and very organized. You can tell um, it's run very, very well. It was too short, uh, but very good. I mean, I think yeah. in general, it was really, Chris team in general, the advancements of EM and Cunson's team, that U11 team, very, very strong. Futsal, they pretty much, I think you won all of your games in futsal. 
Liam is a great, great coach. Uh, Claire loved, it was great to see you nine had a girls team this year. Um, but Bruno and the coaches and Alice put together, I mean, there was like 15 plus girls. That is tricky. So Giam probably, Giam we've spent the most time with. Giam invests so much. Ollie. Ollie, Ollie. yes, Ollie and Giam. Um, Anton invests a lot. Um, really Bruno. Eve. Bruno. Bruno and Eve. Pick, I mean, there's so many great coaches. That's the reality we have. But what's really special about Giam is he invests time in our in Avery and her team while his son is playing on another field. You know? You know, I don't, I hopefully we gave Ollie the, the credit he deserves for really building all those coaches. So I hope that's, he's really put together this coaching staff and invested in all the coaches. So we're thankful for what Ollie's done for the program, aren't we girls? We just thank you for, we've, you know, been in France for two years and we haven't had a bad experience. The people have been so open and friendly. So thank you. Merci beaucoup.